results. Ooh, fresh squeeze. Sally, I will always look forward to seeing you. I don't know, we, we always just sit and talk like a couple of white chicks should, I guess. I know, I know. <laughs> but I, I was thinking, getting ready for this, boy, what a year it's been for you. Got the second Oscar, got married, made this film, mm -hmm. some kind of year. Yeah. Now I'm wondering uh, about the second Oscar. Did you sweat that one more than the first one, thinking, oh, I already have one, they're not going to give me another one? Um, not really. I don't think I thought in terms of of that. Um, I felt so pleased to be nominated. Um, somehow you sort of have to take yourself out of that kind of competitive running at that at that time and say that that's all there is is the nomination and and just try to enjoy all the proceedings because as you know it gets so crazy. And if you got caught up in it, I mean, goodness knows what you would do. It, it's um, the nomination has to be the award, and everything else after that is is just frosting and a surprise. Probably helped also that you were on location and you were busy. So yes, I'm sure that helped. Yes. Okay. Now, um, what about getting married? Because I was thinking there's kind of a parallel, maybe, between this movie and you're getting married again. Because uh, I'm wondering, after being single for so many years, was it a difficult decision to make to get married again? Um, well, yes, <laughs> I guess so. Um, my husband just said that we should, so I said okay. But I was—I don't think I was ever really certain that I should until yesterday. Um, and <laughs> yesterday, yeah, <laughs> after being married a year, um, I guess it's because it, it was something that um, not only had I gotten very comfortable at being alone, but but I liked being safe. I think I liked not having the threat of it not working out um, hanging over me. Um, but everything's great, and I and it's a it's a good place to be. You and your husband now are going to make a film, huh? Well, we've, we have a couple of films in development. Um, you never know quite what's going to happen with them. There's so much that can happen along the line between starting to develop and developing in the script and whatever. So um, hopefully we will. In this movie with uh, Murphy's Romance with James Garner, uh, the two of you have such a wonderful chemistry. Now, did you know one another ahead of time? No. No, um, I mean, of course, I knew who he was. I mean, I grew up desperately in love with him. I wanted nothing more than to play cards with, with Jim Garner because of Maverick. Um, and then when we had the script for Murphy's and we all said in unison, Jim Garner, get us Jim Garner, and he wanted to do it. So we really just got to know each other um, there on the set and location. And um, what you see on the film is really what it was for me. I mean, I just slowly fell in love with Jim Garner. And your husband didn't mind? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think he fell in love with him, too. <laughs> well, he is that kind of personality. Yeah, he is. As you are, you're so easy to like. Wow, oh, thanks. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering also now, you're head of your own film company, Fogwood Productions. Mm -hmm. Why Fogwood? Oh, it's such a long story. It, it, you know, I should say it's an old family name from somebody once removed. Actually, it was the first word that my son, ever, my oldest son, could ever say, which, it, when I started, was a corporation zillions of years ago for tax reasons. I needed a name, and my son's favorite toys was that little farm set with the little farmer and the pigs and the cows and the chickens, and he loved the farmer that he used to carry around in his hand, and he couldn't say farmer, he called it a fogwood. Now, isn't that an interesting story? Well, it is. It's kind of cute. That's it. That's why I named it Fogwood, only because it's been in the family. Okay, so now are you enjoying this role of being a corporate executive, as it were? No, because I, I don't, that's not really what I think of myself as being. I, I, I try to find and develop and, and see that films get made that I want to be in. That's all. It just, it's, sort of, it's just an extension of acting in some ways. You don't have to figure up the P&L sheet and all that nonsense. Well, I look, I look over everything. I, I look over the budget. I make sure it's 
the kind of film I want to be a part of. I mean, I don't, I don't at this point want to be part of a film with the kind of budget that I know I can't, I can't, I can't make back. You know, I can't pull it back in. Um, so I do oversee things, and, and I have a certain way I like to work. So, you know, I want the crew to get the right kind of burrito in the morning, and, and you know, that kind <laughs> of thing is important to me. <laughs> I don't want to have to cook it myself either, but I will if I have to. <laughs> Sally, there's a line in this movie, Murphy's Romance, where you say, I'm married too young, I married the wrong guy, I never went to college, what am I going to do with my life? <laughs> I wonder if that married too young, married the wrong guy, did that hit home with you? Because you did marry very young mm. the first time. Well, I'm not, I'm not really this character. I mean, there's a lot of things about this character that are very similar to me. But I don't think I would ever say in my life, I did marry young, but it was right for me to marry when I married. And I would never say that I married the wrong guy. Um, my first husband was very much the right guy. Um, and still is. Um, he just wasn't the right guy for me to be married to all my life, but he was certainly the right guy for me to marry when I did marry him. And it, it ran its course in a way. And we grew up. But when we were young, I thank God that he was there because he was very, very valuable to me. Um, they, were, they were not necessarily easy years, and he made them much more bearable, number one, and number two, I have these two fabulous kids that we both feel that way about. And Steve and I are still extremely close, so I would never feel that I had married the wrong guy. He's still the right guy. I'd kind of expect you to say that, Sally. You're <laughs> out of time, darn it. It's always fun to see you. Nice to see you, too. Congratulations on Murphy's Romance. Thanks. It does really well. Thanks. You're neat. You're neat. Since you had already won an Oscar for Norma Ray, did you sweat the second one a little bit more? Uh, was it a difficult decision to marry again because you had been single for such a long time? Did you know Jim Garner before this film? Um, you have formed your own company now, Fogwood Films. Where does Fogwood come from? Do you enjoy being a corporate executive, as it were? Do you have to go over the P&L sheet and all that stuff? This line in the movie where you say, I married too young, I married the wrong guy, what am I going to do with my life? Did that strike home to you because you did marry quite young? Um, all right, let's just do reactions. Okay, thank you.